Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Corset cute baby. What do we want to take? We could go some like not really not committal at first and just take solemn. Because this card, you can't go wrong with this card. And there's nothing else that's like super sick. Hmm. Is Frost City's good? Ah, uh, it is. I think it might be like the worst of the Titans. Just because like blue doesn't really need cards like that. Um, it's very good though. All the times are really good. Uh, Horny Queen is green, but more committal. So I kind of want to take the Solemn Louise because I've drafted a lot of green decks in this cube. And I think if I take Hornet Queen, I'm just yet another green deck. Uh, but if I take Solemn, I have outs to be something else. And then we might end up in green anyway, like whatever. If we do, <laughs> if we do, so be it. Yes, I, I am committing to not committing. Boom, baby. Is that Nissa any good? Yes, that Nissa is quite good. Um, I don't really know what we want from this pack. Any, any thoughts? Your Thanksgiving was good. Made a 25 pound turkey. Nice. 13 pound spiral ham. Holy shit. Um, oh my gosh, if we're here, we're here, baby. Persuasion. Um, yeah, I mean, that card seems pretty good. I, I've never played it. I've had it played against me. You don't have to convince me too hard. The hammer. What does this one do? Well, this one's the, the recursion one, right? Yeah, you return it for five. Let's take Persuasion. I, I have never drafted this card. It seems pretty strong. Um, It gives us out to still be like the demonic pack deck that I so want to end up in at some point or another. Um, Yeah, I imagine that Control Magic is good in like a Corset Cube. It was good when they played it against me last time. What does this demon do? Uh, when the ETPs destroy target non-demon creature at the beginning of your upkeep, if there are fewer than six cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. Holy moly. I love the Vampire Nocturnus. It looks like it's just DJing. Uh, we could take Terror. It's non-artifact, non-black creature. It, it does have a lot of constraints, unfortunately. I just don't think Disciple of the Ring is very good. Shadowborn is a banger, but needs to be in the right deck. For sure. I don't... I don't know if Blue Black is really the deck for it. Rootbound Craig... That's like so far from what we're doing right now. I think I think we're better off taking Condemn and being like Uwu potentially. Um omniscience, huh? Thopter Spy Network. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control an artifact, create a one one Thopter. Whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deal common damage to play or draw a card. I kinda wanna take Thopter Spy Network and go in that direction. I bet we can make this into a cool deck. Yo, Bim, how are you? How was your Thanksgiving? I've got a good one. I love it, Penguin. Yeah, any oo-woos. I like Force Spike, um, but we are pretty partial now that we've taken the Thopter Spy Network to uh, taking artifacts. So what does this do? Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, create a 1-1 green sapperling. If it's a land card, do some other nonsense. I don't really think we want this. I think Force Spike looks pretty good here. I could also see Shipwreck Dowser, but we don't have anything good with it yet. Force Spike has always looked hilarious in this cube. Everyone's always tapping out of return. Yeah, I think so too. And I, I actually think it's better in this cube than in other cubes. Let's go ahead and take it. So Opportunity could be pretty cool. Icy Manipulator is a really good artifact for us to have out. It's both very strong. Um, you can use it like on offense and defense. You can constrain mana with it. And also it works with a Thopter Spine Network. Alternatively, there's opportunity, mirror image. Uh, not the bone crank. All right, wait, which bone crank? Oh, this one? Is this what you mean? You just take the draw four over Icy here? I don't know. I kind of want to take Icy, Luis. I just want to make sure I'm not short on on artifacts for the Thopter Spy Network if this is part of our plan. Um, I don't think I want the lieutenant. I don't even trust that this lieutenant isn't bugged. It's always bugged on Magic Online. I just don't buy it. Could take Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle and commit to being as some sort of brown deck. Yeah, I think I like it, Luis. I mean, at, at the very worst, it's a really good sideboard card. Oh, I like Tonebound Lich. If we take Tonebound Lich, we could be some sort of blue-black reanimator-ish deck. Luis Contract, huh? Platinum Angel is interesting, but I just feel like it's so expensive for, like, our fair blue deck to be playing. And then they can probably just kill it anyway. Uh, Tendrils is not bad. I think I'm going to take the Licheroni. 
Uh, Platy looks bad. Yeah, it just feels like it's just gonna get killed, right? Like, terror it or something. Maybe it's not an artifact, whatever. Just like Doomblade, some stupid shit like that. So Zathred Necromancer came back. But now that we took the Tomebound Lich, I'm kind of into the Zombify. I, I am digging that. If we play Platinum Angel Thopter Network, we can make tokens. Hey, Kev, how are you? How was your Thanksgiving weekend? I hope you had a good one. You need Plat Angel and the Hexproof for Artifacts combo. I know, this Hornet Queen came, coming all the way back. No respect. I don't think we want any of these. Each creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature in the battlefield that shares at least one type with it. I mean, Coat of Arms is kind of cool with the Thopter Spy Network. We'll take it, but probably not play it. <laughs> um... Disciple of the Ring. I know, Beer. I was thinking. I was thinking the same thing too. You don't have to convince me. I was like, ooh. ooh. Um. Maybe we can zombify the Platinum Angel. Maybe I mean, we're not, we don't have it anymore. Sadly, I'm just gonna take Swift Response and put it in my sideboard because I don't even know we're gonna be. I'll take this just in case. I guess. Yo, Six Foot. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, this, this this card is wild. Hi, hi, hi. Molly. Molly, I'm trying to see. I'm going to take this for the sideboard. I'm trying to see if I get a demonic pack deck going because I was so sad when you started drafting demonic pack yesterday and then you didn't you didn't wheel it. Currently, this is some sort of Thopter Spy Network reanimator nonsense because we also have the Zombify. So we need some good creatures. Oh, I, I, at this point, oh, 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 hear me out, Sphinx of Athun. All right, we could actually do that. Your last draft last night was, oh no. I stopped watching halfway through that deck because we started watching her, the movie, but then Louise fell asleep and we didn't finish. <laughs> Cleaned through rooms of the house pretty thoroughly and made a pretty great feast. Oh, that sounds so, so good, Six Foot. Sphinx did wheel last night, I remember that gatekeeper. We could. Okay, Louise, stop lying. <laughs> I enjoyed it for the like half hour I watched it is what he's going to say. I kind of want to take something like confiscate wheel the Sphinx of Uthun because like who's really interested in the Sphinx of Uthun? It's kind, kind of just us, right? And this is cool. You can steal a permanent. I'm going to see if it works. Sphinx's tutelage. This is target opponent mill, so it doesn't like really help with our um the helmet cranberry sauce with some that's awesome, six foot. I don't know if we want tutelage. Fairy conclave is kind of sweet. Why do I think we want Mordivor Mordivore? I mean Cryptrax is interesting. It is a really shitty wrath. It also works with Zombify because it dies and then you just bring it back. Maybe I'll take the rats, actually. Chitter, chitter. Rewind. Claustrophobia is a good removal spell. Can I tell Freebooter is interesting? I think this is between Claustrophobia and Freebooter. I don't think it's the ring. That ring does not look close to what I want. And I don't know. I don't think it's rewind either. This doesn't look like a rewind deck. Not really. I think let's just take a booty for early interaction. Yeah, I like I like that, Johnny. That's a good plan. I think we just wanted some some early action. <gasps> Sydney! How are you, Sid? It's really good to see you. Yeah, I like the booty there too. Oh, look. Julita's coming to say hi. Hi, Paparita. Um... I don't think we want any more fours. We have a million fours. What is the adaptive automaton? ETBs choose a creature type. Adaptive automaton is the chosen type in addition to its other types. <laughs> automaton named Zopter. Other creatures you control with a chosen type get plus one, plus one. I mean, this actually kind of does what we want it to because it works with Zopter spy network and it also is um, a lord to the Zopters. It's really crappy though. Yeah, Luis, it's probably a bad idea. I'll take Dungeons, guys. Thanks for talking me out of it. It was a bad idea. We can take Underground River, even though Underground River is so unfun to play with. Because Oh, no, sorry. I thought it was a different one. This is um the Painland. I was thinking of River of Tears, I think it's called. But I kind of like the Counterspell. 
Dungeon Goose was a good choice. I love it. Ooh, look at your hunk. The Dragon Fiend your hunkers has a Santa hat on it. Love it. I was thinking it was River of Tears. River of Tears is the one that's impossible to play with. You play a line and you're like, fuck. Corrupt, a eh? Yes? Can I help you? Uh, choose target creature card in a graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Put the card in your battlefield under your control. I don't think we want that. I think the Whirler Rogue sounds kind of cool. Yeah, it looks like Thopters are back on the menu. Maybe we'll wield that card that's a lord. It's at the beginning of your upkeep. So Intruder, Intruder Alarm kind of works with Thopter Spy Network. Um, it is a really shitty combo. Does it? I think so, because at the beginning of our upkeep, we make the creature, and then we get to untop our stuff, right? Uh, the alternative is Shimmering Wings. Or we could also... Exile target your Planeswalker's control gets an angel. All right, I'm going to take the Intruder Alarm, but like put it really far away from the possible cards that we could play, because it seems really bad. Mentor of the Meek, huh? Man, it's white, though. We can't really splash white. Stab wound seems like it could be okay here. Oh, this does untap all creatures. Yeah, that seems really bad. Mentor is interesting with uh, the other thing. I think I just want to take the stab wound, though, because I think we're just going to be a blue-black deck at this point. So we could take the Trisk, which is a nice one to bin and reanimate. I'm going to get this in the sideboard. We could take the Sign in Blood. That This looks super sketchy mana-wise. Makes me feel like maybe the Trisk is just a little bit better. Because we still want something to bend to the Tonebound Lich. Wasn't... Hold on. Wasn't that the pack with Sphinx of Uthun? Was Trike the pack with Sphinx of Uthun or was it the next pack? Because I, I really would like the Sphinx. I think it would be really good in this deck. I like the Fall for Sphinx. Ah, oh, it was. <sniffs> Stupid. These are all kind of bad. We'll take Ratchet Bomb for the side. I mean, you can just play that main deck too. Uh, I don't really think we want any of these. I'll take the crag. Wow, we got juked. I'm sad. Let me take the painland. Nantuku husk or nothing else. I guess I'll take the husk. I don't think we're really that kind of deck, though. Yo, chat, does anybody here play World of Warcraft? Is the new expansion fun? I have never played it. I've just, uh, I'm curious because I knew it recently came out. A bunch of people are like, okay, goodbye, life forever. <laughs> Jace is Phantasm. You restarted, like, playing all together. Oh, look at that Golos. Hey, Best West, welcome. It's not even that it's, like, that good here, but it is an artifact creature. You swore off. Wow, that's probably smart. Could have taken the eagle as another Thopter Lord. I really, really think there's a 0% chance we would play the eagle. Not going to lie. Yeah, that makes sense of Mithiotu. I'm just going to take Golos. Golos is cool. If we get a cool land, we'll be able to use the Golos. If not, it's not really that big deal. When Ravenous Rat centers a battlefield target opponent, discards a card. I don't think we necessarily want that. I could take... I could see taking Opt or Dissipate. I don't think we want anything else. Hi, Joel. Come here. Come here. Let me love you. Ooh. Dragon's Horde ramps, but that's kind of all it does, right? It's a mana rock. Isn't it just better to have a dissipate in our deck? Oh, yeah, that makes sense of it. Too. It's kind of hard. It's the same way that it's hard to play two TCGs at the same time. You know, I'm going to take dissipate. Uh, oh, Stormtide Leviathan is the kind of banger we would be looking to reanimate. Just floating that idea out there. I think it's probably like Mana Leak or Jace's Ingenuity. It's probably Mana Leak. God, fuck. I really want to take the Leviathan, though. And aim for blue control, but I just wanted to. Oh, hello. This is, this shuffles itself back in, so it actually doesn't even work. <laughs> we could peek. Consume spirit. It's speedy too. Spend only black man on X. Yeah, that's out. We could be. 
I did not see your tutelage deck, Molly. Was it awesome? Yeah, it could, tutelage could be good. It could be our actual win condition. Then, now we're looking for more card draw. Uh, I don't think we want Macabre Waltz. Fimage could be pretty cool. It was very good. It was just missing one more tutelage fetch. That sounds sweet, Molly. Fimage C has got to be good in this cube. Yeah, I'm probably... It's also really cheap, so I'm interested in that. Uh, Cave of Quay... Oh, oh, oh. There's no way we're going to get seven differently named lands in, in this draft. There's just no chance. Because Field of the Dead is tutorable by Golos, but currently we have no lands. Like, not a single one. Uh, we could take Engineered Plague for the sideboard. In case that ends up being good. Yeah, it's bad, Gatekeeper. I don't even know what to do here. I'll take this. Graveborn Muse is also an option. We have so many fours. I think this is a better sideboard card than that Amanda card. Oh, God, now we get it. We can't play it. We have nothing that works with it. Uh, Thought Courier is interesting because it works really well with Tutelage because this procs off whenever you draw a card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We did it. I'm so sad about the pack, though. I really wanted... Like, we just needed to get it earlier, and then we were in the money, baby. We're not splashing white. I guess we could board into white cards so we could take Tranquil Cove if we wanted to do that. It's probably better to just take a Tidebinder Mage against the random, like, red or green decks. Just hose them. Target player reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. The player discards that card. A non-land card from it. Or the Scuttling Doom Engine. Uh, I'll take the Scuttling Doom Engine, maybe. Seems okay. Time to turn deck the raft, I guess. It's sad, but it has to be done. The problem is it's so late, we would never even pick up the stuff to make that card work, sadly. I would try hard to minimize... Yeah, I don't have any fixing, Louise. I, I'm probably not playing the Crypt Rats. That's basically it. Um, The Phantasm could be okay. Put it in the sideboard. Like, I'm going to be milling their stuff, right? Uh, now I can take the Dragon's Horde, and this seems like a pretty decent pickup. I... Chromium is interesting if I had, like, a little bit more fixing. Because I don't have any of the blue fixing. And the, the fixing for it is unfortunately in the same pack. I could see taking the effigy, yeah. It's it's a fine artifact. Hey, Shadow Wolf, how was your weekend? I would love to hear how you were up to... What you were up to, rather. Yeah, effigy is also an artifact for our um, Dupter Spy Network, too. Uh, I'll put the djinn in the sideboard. None of these really do anything. Tragic arrogance, huh? It was good. Love it. This X pack seems a lot less gritty for your time than the previous one, although still, wow, is at least kind of gritty. Yes, that makes sense. I have been so close so many times to getting like really into WoW and haven't done it. And I don't know if I've gotten lucky or unlucky. It's I'm not sure. <laughs> so we're at 24. I do want to try to minimize the amount of black I have. I do think Zombify would be good in this deck. The question is, are we playing the Scuttling Doom Engine? We do need some finishers. Yeah. Why not both? Yes, this deck is okay, Mabo. It's not amazing. I think we can probably 2-1 with it on a good day. On the one hand, it's really fun. On the other hand, it eats your time. True, true, true. I'm going to get rid of the Crypt Rats because I think that one's just kind of unnecessary. I'll probably keep these six drops. We are just kind of a control deck. 23 seems fine. This is good against Planeswalkers. All of this seems like pretty decent interaction. I could see playing the Djinn uh, instead of like the Scuttling Doom Engine or something. I could also see maybe wanting to play the Effigy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Gatekeeper. So if we add the Effigy and maybe the Soul Blade Djinn and then maybe take out the... Do we want to play the Scuttling Doom Engine? I can't tell. It's one of the six drops. We don't need so many. Oh, Golos doesn't even get any special lands. Maybe it's Golos that's the cut. 
one of the cuts. Maybe Doom Engine's the second cut and we just play it like this. This looks okay. It's not great. How dare I make fun of the engine? Look at our mana, it's so bad. Mm, like that. Hey, hold on, I missed it. I, I, I went the opposite direction at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to add. I think it's like that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. <laughs> Beautiful mana base. That's that's one way to that's one way to talk about this mana base, Molly. <laughs> it's very clean. Oh, I meant Golos. It just seems like Golos doesn't really do that much here. It's just a 3-5, can never activate it, you know? <laughs> I like a penguin! Yeah, yeah. It's true, none of it enters tap, so that's something. I mean, I would have even played like an off-color temple in this deck if I had gotten one of those, if I picked one up at some point during the draft. We had a couple choices, but then we just took other cards that we might play. I don't really know. Boop, 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 boo -doo. I have been paired. Magic the Gathering. I like this hand. This hand looks like... Um, I probably want to play my Effigy on one just because it's pretty mana starved. Uh yeah, Molly, it's like uh We've got some we've got some looseness in this deck for sure. What's the bar in the ground in the dog shot? Oh yeah, sorry. It's this camera is like a little Hold up. I need to just fix the camera at some point. It's like a little lob lobsided, but that is the green screen and the dog's not even there right now, so Okay. Yo, if it isn't the unpleasant Kenobi. Oh, actually, I wanted to play Dragon's Horde, don't I? Yeah, I probably do. Hey, Vin Vince, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. What is this? There are two toots. Welcome on in, everybody. I hope you had a really good stream with... What are we playing? We're playing Corset Cube. It's, um... Ooh, look at us. That's, that's, that's a whole joke. That's what we're trying to do. It's to stop their spy network business. I kind of want us to stall a little bit though. Because they're not playing anything either. Or we could we could lead on Rogue and uh, test the waters. Yeah, I like that, Molly. That sounds decent. Let's do it. And then we're setting it up for the stop their spy network to do the thingy. Oh, snap. That's kind of fine. Triskelly was your first rare. So cool, Ryan. Look at these stopters, baby. Yeah, that was totally fine. They played a land and nothing else. I kind of want to wait so that we can do the Thopter Spy Network Dissipate play in the same turn, which means that we can either play Trisk this turn or pass with Effigy and Dragon's Horde. Because we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're short one. And I think that's worth it. I'll probably play Trisk uh, second main. Attack first and see what's up. The first was Vizedrix. That's how I kept playing Beyond Me. I love it. Love it, Remy. Anyway, I hope you had a really... Yo, Vince! Of course I keep absolutely no force of wills in sight. Sounds like heaven. Vince, I hope you had a really awesome stream. I really appreciate the raid. What were you up to on stream today if you're still here? Oh, they had a boomerang? 
Um, let's go for one. And two. And last one. Boomeranging at Trisk is not exactly where you want to be, I don't think. We just nugged them for three. I was like casting lightning bolt or something. Are they holding lava dart or something? Uh, uh, they're doing some nonsense. I'm not really sure. We've got it totally covered this time though. Oh my god. Well, I can just uh, mana leak the time stop, but the time stop was going to get me. That was going to be spooky, yo. Hey, Slubars, how was your weekend? I hope you had a really good one. Look at us, we're doing the thing. We got the Thopter Spy Network and the Thoppies. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, our patients did work out. They had time stop. I guess that's what they were sitting on. This is upkeep, right? If you control an artifact, uh, create a 1-1 one, one thop. Cool. Time stop's a cool card. Time stop works with a demonic pack. That's part of the reason I wanted the demonic pack. You can just end your turn. It's not great because it's upkeep, so you do, like, just time walk yourself. Oh, look at them. They too have the time walk. How was your Thanksgiving, Slubars? Did you do anything good? Did you cook anything cool? So that time warp was just kind of um, like, like a free explore. Five instants or sorceries. They have a 5-5 five, five weird in play. Well, we make a Thopter every turn. So that, and this doesn't have trample or anything, right? Nope. Your mom cooked all the classics. It was great. That's awesome. That soup's cool. Oh, I see manipulators even better. All right, let's go to attacks. Kind of bothers me that these thopters look different than the other thopters. I don't really know why. Okay. Play that. I think we can definitely go one, two, three, four. And this lets us hold up dissipate plus activate icy manipulator. Thopter is colorless, just FYI. I thought, um... Oh, yeah. Thopter is colorless. Thanks for Zergling. Asking. Holy moly. Thank you so much for the 24 months. Welcome back, friend. How are you doing, Zergling? I know, I know, Molly. <laughs> I, don't worry, I got it. Uh, beginning of combat, we definitely want to tap this fool. Thopters are devoid. The void is a, such a lazy mechanic. I hate it. I kind of want to counter that. <sighs> because this this really messes with a lot of stuff we're doing. I hope they don't have a counter. I mean, they didn't have a counter before, I don't think. I'm always making linguine with meatballs and... Oh, that sounds really good, Slu. Oh, oh, I was definitely going to counter the goggles if I realized that it was going to mean they were going to scoop. That sounded awesome. That sounds so good, Slu. Luis made such a cool dish yesterday. He made this, like, Mediterranean-ish rice dish with, like, cloves and cardamom pods and chicken. It was so freaking good. We're going to have that for dinner again tonight. I'm excited. I am hype. So, yeah, it was really chicken and rice, but with like Moroccan seasoning. Yes, it was really good. They have rang, right? Bo Boomerang makes the persuasion a little bit worse. Um, Because that just bounces their thing, you know? Did we see anything we could pithing needle? Not really. 
You're thinking about trying to be a pescatarian for the first quarter of the year. Eating meat is getting to be a bit... Mm, it was not biryani. It was uh, specifically basmati rice that was in it. It was really good, though. You know, I'm going to take the... Is boomerang... Hold on. Card. Boomerang. It's return target permanent to its owner's hand. That makes my confiscate and my persuasion look kind of bad. It makes me actually just want to play like a Golos and maybe like a Ratchet Bomb or something. I don't know. Jace's Phantasm. Just try to not give them, not let them be able to use Boomerang to good effect. Like it was so bad that they had to cast it against Triskelion. Um, you know, Slubars, I... Um... I am not vegetarian by, like, choice, but I don't really eat that much meat, and I feel like it's always been good. Like, I, I guess I'm kind of pescatarian if you were to put a name on it. Um, I do eat chicken, I do eat beef, I just don't do it that much. And I think it's... I, I've always liked eating like that. It's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feelings. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, Luis is also getting on the... Making more vegetables, eating less meat life, which I'm all for because. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll let that happen. That's cool, Darius. That's awesome. How are you doing, by the way, Darius? Good to see you. Yeah, I don't really do it for humanitarian reasons. I just do it because I don't really eat that much meat. <laughs> yeah, I like it, Molly. So we can to Fairy's tutelage to get get it started. Or we could just go Dragon's Horde hold up four spike. I kinda wanna do that. Yeah. You love meat, but you feel bad about it. That's fair. I, I don't do it for like humanitarian reasons. I do it just because I don't really like I don't know. No part of me really wants to eat that much meat. Okay, they didn't do anything. Mm. I wish I would have drawn a... Sounds good, Luis. This 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 cube is fun. This cube is fun, Luis. I'm glad you're going to play it. You know, I want to play something else here. I think I'm going to play Tutelage. Because that lets me hold up Force Spike, too. Yes, I agree with that, Molly. Discard. Honestly, Rouge, because then I can just zombify it. I think you'd like it, Luis. I, I think this cube is very fun. There's definitely some loose stuff. Dracusith? Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Slu. You've never seen this ICR before? I haven't either, actually. This is my first time. I'm used to, like, old school IC Manipulator. Like, the one that's, like, this hand like this. Or the one that's, um, like, it looks like, um, like a, almost like a, like an artifact on, like, a dark background. <sighs> no fucking way. We really got him, because now we get to on top with Opter Spy Network. Man. Force spiking a time warp feels so good, man. Can I please just... Okay, Ponder and Enigma Drake. I'm just going to play the Thopter Spy Network. The alternative is to play the Whirler Rogue into Thopter Spy Network, but like they can't really interact once I have this in play because I already have the artifact. I don't think they're going to be able to interact with the Dragon Sword very well. And then we're still on the tutelage plan anyway. Took a philosophy class in college and I remember being pretty convinced by Peter Singer's argument against eating animals. But I guess I love meat is greater than good arguments. I mean, I think that's true for a lot of things people do. We had this moment the other day where Naya realized that like when we say chicken, like chickens are the thing we're eating. Mm, okay. Pyromancer's goggles is going to make things a little awkward. I can always icy to tap it so they can't use that mana to cast their stuff. Yeah, she seemed okay with it. 
at Louise, but it was funny because she was like, she thought they were two different things, you know? Uh, activate abilities of search with a chosen name can't be active unless they're mana abilities. This is a mana ability, right? Yeah, that's awesome, Chris. I love it. Oh, no, bulletproof. This seems like it's a mana ability and it won't be stopped. Sure is. All right, good beats. I think what we should do here is one, two, three, four. And then just go icy with the intent to upkeep tap their pyromancer's goggles because they're not really going to be copying spells, at least sorceries in their upkeep. Yeah, that makes sense, Time Twister. Yeah, Z goggles, they, oh shit, they're going to do something. <laughs> They do nothing. Guerrilla tactics. Two damage to any target when a spell or a billion opponent controls causes you to discard guerrilla tactics. It deals for damage to any target. So I'm going to take two and my Thopter is going to die. I mean, that's not really the worst thing that's ever happened. My nibbling is off white meat. Oh, I've I've known a couple of kids who once they realize that when you, you're talking about cute chickens and cows and then you realize you're also eating chickens and cows, they get off it. Sure, go ahead, tap your mana. Sure. Ooh, I like it, Zergling. I didn't realize you're a philosophy professor. That's super cool. That is soups cool. All right, make a thoppy. Ooh, dungeon goose. And then mill them some. What else did we mill? Boomerang, gorilla tactics. Uh, Chandra, the not very good Chandra. Peza, thank you so much for 19. Guess we're supposed to do that in draw step whenever hammers in the graveyard. Uh, why does it matter to do a draw step time twister? Because now it's in their hands, so I don't have to worry about it right now. Um, let me zombify the Whirler Rouge. 34 months? That's almost three years. It's been awesome. Hammer abilities upkeep only. Ah. Interesting. Oh my god, not Ryan. Because it can use a mana in response to you do upkeep. Hammer can only come back in upkeep. Got it. Alright, yeah, that makes total sense. We'll start doing that. Not upkeep right now, because it doesn't matter. I mean, here I should upkeep the Pyromancer's Goggles before they actually get a chance to draw something that they can cast at instant speed and copy. Yeah, see, like, now they just don't don't get to use the Goggles this turn. <laughs> Bloodfell Caves gain one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And now we've got Helithopters, too. And they're at 18. Peza, this Corset Cube is really fun if you haven't played it. I really recommend it. I think it's been super fun. It, there's some weird cards, but it's... Like, I thought Corset Cubes was going to be lame just because Corsets are, like, more tame. But there's enough bullshit in the Corsets that I think this is still fun. Uh... Oh! <laughs> Somewhere out there, Masha got his wings. Yo, Jay, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Hold on. I should have screenshot that specific moment. I really should have. Hold on. File, save as. Deck. Hold on. It's true. It didn't hit a land. Maybe Mashi doesn't even care. <laughs> All right. Yo, hold on. Z's man with the... Gifted sub to Kiwi's Dawn. Thank you so much, Z's man. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having an awesome one. Thank you for the gift to the community. I appreciate you. So they haven't cast the um, the thingy yet, have they? Mm. Oh, thank you so much, Z's man. That's so sweet. All right, we're gonna try to jam with everybody. The only thing I'm worried about would be Ether Spouts, but they don't have enough mana for that. Uh, they've been a... Ooh, 
Solemn is interesting. I probably want to play Solemn. Because I don't really want to play Phantasmal Image. One, two, three, four. Mm, let's get more islands down. And then... I, I'm thinking about imaging the Solemn. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. I'm in for it. I think it's sweet. Because even if they both die... Um, oh, I guess the Fimage doesn't actually draw on death if it gets targeted, right? Because it just dies to its first trigger. We're also thinning to win something. Uh, I don't have Icy Manipulator anymore, so we can get rid of that. It dies in the death. Oh, does it still? Oh, that's so cool. I thought it would not. Oh, I know. It fizzles for stuff like Beast with them because it stops being there, but the death trigger still happens because it still dies. Okay, there's the hammer. Stop hammer time. Their deck is cool. It's like a Pyromancer's Goggles that tries to burn you out deck. But we're going pretty fast, pretty furious. That's true, Mabonap. I mean, this is any target, so they could just kill my courier, I suppose. That's fine, I can... They took the real one, right? I can just tap the dungeon guys. They're at 16. Because that also gets a 3-3 in play. Ooh, Phantasm. Um, Can I needle the hammer? No, because it's... Oh, maybe I could. Because it's an activated ability. Oh, there's a time stop. Maybe I'm going to needle the hammer. Like, I can go... Step one, dungeon guys tap this. Hit for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they're dead and... Yeah, that seems worth it. Just not to die to some bullshit. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four... And then we're also going to go Pithing Needle and Hammer of Bogarden. Oh, I probably should attack first and see what I'm going to get. Hammer of Bogarden. Okay, before I play the Jace's Phantasm, I'm going to hit. They're at nine. They've been uh, Druidic Satchel and Time Stop. Sold Blade Djinn. Um, I would be pretty unhappy about a wildfire at this point. I guess the Jace's Phantasm would survive something like that because it's only four damage. I can just play everything out then, I guess. Three turn clock because of the tutelage. Yeah, the tutelage is doing good work too. I don't mind running the stuff out because if my uh, solemn dies, then like I'm still just drawing. Plus this thing lives through a wildfire and then this guy helps mill faster. So, Oh, that's right, Time Twister. You're absolutely right. But don't they just die to tutelage if that happens? I think they're in like a really, really bad spot. Yo, Scarlet Storm. Thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back, friend. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, I received a level one hype train emote. Show me. Choo choo hype kick. Kicking your door down with some soul blades. They're copying this one. Oh, shit. No way. Oh my god, they were on the copy everything life. Wow. Didn't think we were gonna die from that. Brutal. Yeah, that was really cool. Alright, let's go to the next one. So they... Do we have any artifact removal? 
Because their deck seems to be all in on this burn burn deck business. Yeah, if we needled earlier, we would have been fine, I think. I don't think I have Ratchet Bomb. Engineered Plague, no. You think we need the Confiscate even if they have the Boomerang? I could see that. But I, I don't want to bring back in the Persuasion. I think that one's bad. We need something else. They honestly didn't have that many creatures, so it seems like the Effigy doesn't do that much. The Jin at least attacks. Guy seems okay. Yes, the Stab Wound doesn't... They didn't have anything that we could Stab Wound, not really. Maybe that's the thing we cut out to bring in the Confiscate. I really wish we had uh, Artifact Removal. This hand's good. Also, these two are the combo, the wombo combo. You used two wild cards to craft one Uro. Wait, two wild cards to craft one Uro? I thought that was part of them. I thought they weren't going to make the cards expensive anymore, right? Like in Historic, it was just going to cost one. Uh, no, we didn't end up with Sphinx Sphinx's tutelage, unfortunately. I think we want to lead on tutelage here. Um, discard a card. Probably just this island. Yo, Hearthstone is just a shit show right now, Slubars. I don't really know what's going on over there. You had already three and clicked the craft button twice. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. That was brutal. So we got a talent of the telepath and some other nonsense. I th think we get this courier going. Oh, that's fair time twister. We We, we got lucky. Because now the Thought Courier can start really going to town with a tutelage. And then we have Counterspell and Mana Leak, depending on what we need. Next turn we can make the same play, except play a Tonebound Lich. Fable the Passage, sure. So this is just a looter, right? This is just Merfolk looter. Hmm... Hey, Olim, how are you? God damn it. This is really not great to counter because they can just buy it back. It, it costs a ton. Maybe it's good to keep this around. This just draws an extra card every turn. And it takes them two more turns to get it back. I, I'm not going to let it die. I'm just going to leak it. I just think this is really good with a tutelage and it seems like it's the way we're going to win. Like, they need to spend another spell to kill this thing because if the plan is to rebuy this back, I don't think they're going to have enough time to do that. Loot. They bend a cone of flame and a sift. Play swamp. Oh, I should have... should have looted first. That was a mistake. Loot. Free booter. Well, my play this turn, maybe the Zombify sucks. Because my play this turn is to play to Tonebound Lich and then hold up Counterspell. And then next turn I could potentially like Kitesil Freebooter for something else, which means that the Zombify doesn't do anything here. Okay. Dumb Zombie for sure. Yeah, it's kind of like an insurance policy. They discarded an Incinerate, so they must have a way to kill this. It's true, Time Toaster. I think Freebooter might be the next thing I I binned. Oh, they milled it. Sorry, that was milling, not discarding. Uh, I am binning the Freebooter now. They milled a Chandra. Okay. Yeah, you're right. They had no choice. They probably wanted it. All right, so they're at 18. Plus, this mills every turn. This draws a card when it hits. And then this mills on my turn naturally. 
So here, they next turn, they could bring back this guy if they wanted to. What is this? Nah. My 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 clock my clock is good. You <laughs> woo. Pillage, got him, baby. All right, so this one is as just come draw a card, then discard a card. So I think I want to attack with Tonebound Lich first. Play the Spy Network. Neither of these are artifacts, though, right? It's artifact creatures you control to economy damage to player draw a card. So I don't actually think I want to, because I, I I'm not sure what I'm gonna play. Yeah, it's only artifact creatures, Time Twister. So I want to decide what I draw. Like, I want to figure out what my turn's going to be after I draw. Um, yeah, we can win that. Got a Reverberate and a Druidic Satchel. This now. Yeah, we can win the Swamp. I think I want to Whirler Rogue now. Because that'll give us the Thopters for the Thopter Spy Network. It also will make it so that this thing can definitely attack next turn. if In case they play something to... I guess they could potentially steal it. We saw they do have uh, mind control. Is there some qualification for you being top 1200 for limited? No, there isn't, Douglas. You just have to play until you get to Mythic. And then once you're at Mythic, it'll rank you. So you'll either be in percentages or numbers. If you're over top 1200, you'll just be in top 1200. If you had a rough patch to get to Mythic, they might put you in the percentages. You don't get a qualifier token, you have to wait a few days. Yes, that always is true too. Is this time stop? Mm. Oh, they're talking about the prize. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> there goes the Pyromancer's Goggles and the Persuasion. Got him, baby. All right, well, they got us too. They ended our turn. That was stupid. They seem extremely dead. I'm not sure how they can kill me from 21. It'd have to be, like, Inferno Titan plus, like, a bunch of ways to take extra turns, maybe? Though clearly, like, their deck is capable of taking multiple turns. They have Persuasion, which, or not Persuasion, but they have uh, Time Stop, which kind of does that. And they have um, Time Warp, which does the same thing. And then have the Goggles, which can copy. Oh, it only copies red things? Oh, I didn't realize that. I guess that makes it a lot worse. I mean, yeah, it does. Haha, <laughs> okay. The thing is big. It's a 9-9. Nine -nine. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big boy. Doesn't really matter. Like, we're going to hit them for so much next turn. They boomeranged my thingity. Sure. Yeah, they're kind of in a spot where they have to do that. They still seem super dead. They are at five. So this draws a card and mills them. And this they either have to block or it's going to happen too. Because these are two different instances of drawing. 
So we can definitely send both Tonebound Lich and a Thopter. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't play the Thopter Spite Network. Oops. Yeah, that means... Yeah, now... Now this time, I think maybe I'll make the Lich unblockable then. That puts them at... You know what? Does it even matter? Like, we're fine if they want to trade the weird for the Tonebound Lich, right? It's too late. I'm in combat. I can't change it anymore. But I don't even know if we want to make it unblockable. Maybe it's still worth it because it does mill too. No, 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 no. I want to use the ability. Hold on. Um, I think we want to play Thopter Spy Network and hold up for Spike. Yeah, I really beef that one. I'm not worried, though. They're at three. Alrighty. We're almost certainly chumping here if we get the opportunity. There's no reason to take nine. I feel like that's how we could potentially die. Though they did already mill the reverberate. Or have they? They may have. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, numbers. <laughs> They'll never know. <laughs> They'll never know. Okay. Now what's the plan? What's the grand finale? One, two, three, four. I thought they had already played Time Warp. How did they already play Time Warp? How did they get it back? Or is this just a new game? I guess this is a new game. Oh, their weird returns a card. That makes sense. Okay, well, now they still have to figure out how to kill me from 22. Yeah, they got it back. I that I was so confused. I was like, I thought we already played against this shit. Sure. Did they even finish resolving that spell? It didn't seem like they did. They were just like, all right, I'm off it. <laughs> I can't blame them, but I think that's kind of what happened. Ugin's buddy. Hello, Ugin's buddy. Ah, this hand looks bad. This hand looks good. I'll probably send back... It's either the Confiscate or... Yeah, we got them, Penguin! We got them! It could be the needle. The needle doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I definitely have greenies available. Jules! Julie! Hi, puppers. Oi. Oh, that's a good stretch. Julie, sit. Shake. Down, Jules. Stay. Good girl. What a good dog. They decided to deck themselves with tormenting voice. Yep. Um, what do we what do we send back? I kind of want to send back the swamp. I just feel like this hand is is like action light. So if they have a planeswalker, being able to pitting needles important. We're gonna draw lands. Okay. That was a good draw at this point. Yep. Checking the list. Julie is still adorable. She's a good dog. Oh, I'm excited, Time Twister. We're gonna get them here. My body is ready. Boop. Mm. 
We have Counterspell in this deck, so maybe let's lead with Island. Yo, Spike has been so good in this in this um in this draft so far. Feels like it's been working over time. Bolt Doge. No Bolt Doge. <sighs> that was a good draw. It's true, Time Twister, it's true. But we did, we had it on turn five and we, um, okay, so now I think we do want to work towards Confiscate and the Pithing Needle doesn't look super good. I'm going to live to regret this if the next thing they play is just like a Planeswalker and four, but I think it's better to keep the Swamp here and bin the Pithing, the Pithing Needle. They're going to play Chandra four, I'm going to lose it. I don't even know if it's in this queue, but I bet it is because it's a Chandra. Yeah, they really have been Mabo. All right, here we go, baby. Goblin Rabble Master. That is a problem. Yep. Hey, BK. Is Korth from a corset? I don't know, actually. How's it going, BK? How's your weekend? It's not? Okay. Icon of Ancestry. E painted this thing. Okay, well, this thing is going to go out of control, but I guess eventually I can steal it. Let me just play... Do I have even double black? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna play island. Mana tithe put in blue seems good. <laughs> Only course had four mana Chandra is Pyromaster. Yeah, that's not even one of the good ones. I think that's gonna beat me really badly if I don't counter it, so... Because they can just name Goblin on that thing. Nice! Are you ready to crush BK? I'm happy to hear that. That sounds awesome. Okay. All right, that kind of helps a little bit. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. So... Man, I really want to keep this Confiscate, but if I bin the Confiscate, I can go Swamp Phantasmal Image. Copy the Tonebound Lich again. And then they got double Liches. Or I could even copy the Rabble Master. Usually record Monday. Oh, you're talking about Constructed Resources. Hey, Moosers! Welcome, welcome. Hmm. I like copying Lich better. It does feel really slow. All right, I'm going to go for it. Let's see what else they binned. Goblin Chaser, Mog Fanatic. It's just a dedicated goblin stack. <laughs> oh my god, Stab Wound. Stab Wound would have been so clutch here. Feels bad, man. All right, let's hope that one of these liches lives against the Rabble Master. Sure. BK, shut up! No, no, I won't allow it. Oh my god! The Obelisk of Turd! We're so dead. I, I, I don't actually think we can beat this. Like, we have no way to interact with that. Oh my god. What if I just call it? You know what I called it. I guess I'm just gonna take it. I don't know. It's really bad. I have Persuasion. Oh, I took their Krenko. I mean, I could persuade this Goblin Rabble Master to become mine. And then they don't get more. They get to keep attacking with nonsense, but... I'm not even attacking with the liches. 
Let's just get stitches, baby. Okay. I don't think we can win that. Yeah, God, we are... I mean, that also assumes that they're not playing anything because this Foundry Street Denizen is going to go ham. When Goblin Ringleader enters the battlefield, reveal all the top four cards of your library. Put all Goblin cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest of the body of, of your library in any order. All right. Yo, what's your daddy? Jewels. Uh, this is like a perfect goblin deck in this cube. Yes, that seems very good. It also seems like they totally got there. Okay, so let's go to blocks and block that guy there and block this guy here. <laughs> We're at three. <laughs> I don't think we can come back. Uh, and dubs. All right, good beats. Oh, we're hella dead, BK. Bukizel. Uh, Ratchet Bomb looks pretty good against them. Pithing Needle looks pretty bad against them. Effigy looks slow. Crip Rats. Crip Rats is where it's at. What else do we want against them? Engineered Plague. Engineered Plague. Oh, Engineered Plague. Oh my god, you're totally right. That is freaking poggers. Okay, let's... Confiscate looks hella slow. Trisk looks like mediocre at best. Persuasion also seems really bad. I guess stealing one of the really good cards could be okay. Force Spike the Effigy seems like it's playable. Uh, the Goose is good. The Rose is okay. The Zombify seems like it's uh, slow. The, the Djinn looks like it's really slow. But I don't have any more things to bring in. Maybe we'd swap the Jin for a Golos. Yeah, that's better. Golos can block creatures that are Obelisk Averted. Though, if they have Obelisk Averted, we're probably losing already. Alright, I'm gonna keep this hand. Yeah, exactly, Jay. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, BK. I see what, I see what you're saying. Oh my god, that Ratchet Bomb song is so funny. Johnny, it's amazing. Okay, they have Renown 1. Blue Swords, come on. As long as Goblin Glory Chaser is Renown, it has Menace. Um, so we could pass with Mana Leak or just Thought Courier to try to block the Goblin Chaser. I kind of want to play the Looter and try to block. Yeah, I like that play, Time Twister. Protection from blue. Whenever goblin pile driver attacks, gets plus two plus zero oh, until end of turn for each other attacking goblin. Sure, yeah. Um. So here's the question. Yeah, I'm gonna block. And I'm going to try to draw land here to stab wound the pile driver. Because we're not in a spot. Oh, F me. I guess we just pass now. We really needed to draw land there. Cryptids is awkward because we don't have that many swamps. Maybe I should have bored into an extra swamp. Yeah, that's true. That's true, BK. So it gets supposed to post for each for other attacking goblins. So he is only hitting me for like one a turn. Don't like that. I'd rather force spike that, I guess. Sure. Pile driver's not usually alone. <laughs> That's not the way you usually see pile drivers. BK, when is the PT? I know the decks were due this Sunday, but when is the actual tournament? This Friday? Cool, cool, cool. Like, it starts on Friday, right? Is it a PT? I mean, it's the PT equivalent. 
Uh, that was a good draw. Got him, baby. Yeah, Jay, I mean, it's it's a PT equivalent. It's not actually the Pro Tour. But that's also partly because Pro Tours don't exist anymore. Ugh. Has haste too. Yeah, hey, Darth, how are you? For revealed, they have a Siege Gang Commander and a Goblin Arsonist. It's also true, it's no not it doesn't have draft, which is that is kind of a staple of a PT. It's just a constructed tournament. Stupid. Um we kind of have to I don't know. Do we play Whirler Rogue or do we just I think I just pass and try to keep up a counter spell? It's possible I want to play rats, but if I play rats, they're not going to play Siege Gang. Jewels. I hear you, po Poocher. Yeah, that's fine. Bolt Doge. So if I draw a land next turn, it's so sick to go Crip Rats and then just um kill everything. I do need a land for this play to work. To really... Oh, it has to be Swamp specifically. Ugh. I'm going to counter it then. I'm a little too worried that this is going to own me if I don't make this play. It also has Haste too. I can Rogue to get a redraw. I, it doesn't really work as a redraw though. Oh my god, of course. Um, you know what's fine? Because like the cards that we know they have left is not Mountain anymore, but they have Arsonist in hand and Siege Gang Commander in hand. So if I tap out for Whirler Rogue and they start attacking, I can maybe make some trades. They're just never going to play out the Siege Gang Commander into my Crypt Rats. Oh, that's right. They don't have this Mountain. So they might not even be able to play Siege Gang Commander. It's true. I think I'd rather... Lead on this thing. This thing is going to incentivize them to play more into the board. And then they can play Crip Rats to try to Wrath. Pants optional tournament. I like it. I really like that. Oh my god, no! Uh, Ruined. We, we legitimately can't beat that. GG no re is accurate. All right, here's my play. Um, we just don't really have a play. This is so sad. It could be to play the rats out, hold up counterspell right now, and then hope for swamp. The problem is if they just siege gang commander my rats, I'm Dobbs. Play rats with BB up, give some blocks. It's and then they just kill the rats and then we use it and then we kill all of our stuff. It doesn't really give us blocks. It doesn't playing the rat doesn't do anything here, unfortunately. Molly, I'm I'm considering scooping. I'm just trying to think of like what what path gets us to victory here, and I'm just not really seeing one. No, we don't we don't have a way to win this. Where is... This is the deck. I just don't really think we had a, a viable plan to actually win that game. We don't have any way to interact with Obelisk once it's down. Martin, thank you so much for that raid. Yo, I really appreciate that. How are you, Martin? How's your stream? 
Welcome on in Raiders. We are playing some Corset Cube. Here's our deck if you want to take a look at it. Good. Thanks, Martin. I hope you had a really good stream. We're playing some Corset Cube. You notice the cube? It sounds interesting. It's actually really cool. I, I have liked it a lot. I, I don't know how much you like cubing, Martin, but I have enjoyed this cube quite a bit. We're going to keep this hand. It's beautiful. You love cubing? Okay, I think you might like this one, Martin. I thought it sounded so boring when I heard about it because it was just like corset bleh. But it's been awesome. Hi, Fader. How are you? It's really good to see you. How was your Thanksgiving weekend? Especially after putting into your new archive 800 bucks. Bing! <laughs> That's some really good shilling, Martin. I love it. Uh, leaf glider. Sure, I accept. I wish I had a four spike. That would have been so sick. Bum, bum. Water Lich! Thank She's you so much for the 22 times. months. Um, so they're gonna have four mana next turn. I kind of really want to play Thought Courier so that we can start tutelaging them. Like next turn we get to do the tutelage thing. Does tap us out of a million things though. Dwinnen Guilt Leaf. That just doesn't even look like English. Other elf creatures get plus one plus one. When it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. Sure, it's a three four. Thanksgiving was great. Lots of good food and relaxation. Back to work though. Excited there's cube. Same, same fader. Oh man. They have five mana next turn. That's a lot of mana. I still think we want to... I mean, we could just stall for one turn. Leaf Gilder, the most mispronounced name. Oh, is it Gil... 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 Leaf Gilder? Guilt Leaf Dayan. Dayum. Um... You know, I'm a little scared of playing the tutelage this turn. I'm gonna do this instead. Canyon Slew? Maybe. They didn't attack with the, the Gilder. Okay, so we're probably going to bin Zombify here unless we find some cool action to reanimate. Your money's on Tris Triskaidekaphobia. I feel like people talked about how you pronounce that, though. It is a really weird word. Yes, Imperious Perfect is probably another one that, it, that gets juked a ton. Um, We can leak this one. Hey, slam dunk. <laughs> Never. Okay. So now, we did counter a lot of their stuff. Both the Ingot and the Fauna Shaman. Um... We don't have anything to reanimate. We kind of have to get a thing going soon too because this thing is going to just kill us eventually. So we could just go tutelage and then start milling them. It's not a great clock and GL. But then maybe we're setting up to zombify next turn. You just but I once partially dislocated my jaw eating those. Eating which ones, Mr. Horrible? Triscuits, really? Oh my god, that's scary. All right, we're going to tutelage them. Oh, hey. I could just bin the Dijin and then reanimate it next turn. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad, right? <laughs> Play that. Does Alendra Archmage count? I feel like... I feel like people will always think that Glenelendra is a name. Holy moly, that's not good for me. Yeah, oh yeah, Molly. This was a turn to get a banger down, and they definitely did. Mm. 
They're Golos deck? Are they really? Oh, they must be. That's the only... Yes, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I think we can bin this swamp. Hornet's Nest. Alright, we're in real troubles. Oh, hello. Now we're into the business of wanting lands again. So, I think this turn we're just going to zombify back the djinn. And that can block against Dwinnen and can definitely block the Leaf, Leaf Glider too. We're going to take this one. And now we're going to try to keep any lands in hand so we can confiscate this. That's the plan. We're going to keep it around for um, potential blocking purposes. Although, actually, no. I wanted to loot there because I didn't make a land drop. Right? Yeah, so I wanted to try to make that land drop so that next turn I have the confiscate for the cavalier. I forgot that I hadn't played my land yet. Probably discarding dissipate. Glenelendra Esquire. Oh, I believe you, Molly. I know I know you're a Golos scientist. I feel like I'm a pretty Golos sciencer myself. I I know my way or my way around a Golos. Golos Caracas? Anybody? I love the penguin. Call us sciencers. Glendalendra, attorney at law. Do you guys remember that show? It was so weird. It was like Birdman, attorney at law. It was a show about Birdman, but he was like a kind of like a deadbeat lawyer. <laughs> yeah, that, maybe I am more of a correct scientist, Molly. I do, I do love train wrecking a draft to play a Golos. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. That's what it was. I remember that. And there was also like Space Ghost Coast to Coast. That show was hella weird. Oh, shit. Um, yo, they're hitting me for a lot. So I think this is going to block there and this should block here. And I need to do some looting. Icy Manipulator is a good play for us to make, but predicated on us drawing a land next turn. Oh man, I don't know. It's better than Dissipate, that's for sure. Yeah, so let's bin that. I'm just a little nervous about... How this game is going to play out. Oh! What do you know? It's my old friend Golos. Rejuvi? Sure. Yeah, I could have never suspected that this was a, a Golos deck. Jungle, hello. Oh, thank God. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's exactly what we needed. Okay. Yeah, mono green gullus. You gotta, you gotta respect them. <laughs> you gots to respect. They are hitting me for a lot. They hit me for three, four, five, six. So I do need to draw my land next turn or be daubers. Uh, beginning of combat. I mean, this does give him a now to activate the Harambe village. Yeah, they played that right. We still needed to do that, though, because we can't let the cavalry hit us. It's really bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Dark Slash, because the cavalry's tapped, sadly. And they're about to tap out. Oh, shit, they're going to bribery me. I can't win right now, so I'm not going to let them bribery me. Okay, so we're playing against Mono Green. Ratchet Bomb seems like it could be okay against them. I don't know about the Phantasm. Yeah, they get Trisk. It's not worth it to let them have it. Um, Engineered Plague naming Elf seems good. And Ratchet Bomb looks okay. What do we not want? What seems bad? The Zombify has always looked kind of mediocre in this deck, so we can take that out. 
Exactly, Mr. Horrible. Jules, what's going on, girl? Let's chill out, doggers. Yeah, the gin does seem mediocre. Maybe that's it. Yeah, nothing else seems that good. Yeah, I think so. I think so, Zs, man. We I was aggressively discarding lands, but it I ended up I died with a bunch of counter spells in my hand, so that didn't really that didn't really pan out. Needle stops treetop and golos. Oh, you know that that might be good enough. I was also thinking they probably had planeswalkers, like they probably have some Nissas. And I like that it works with our Thopter Spy Network, but I think that's enough to keep it in. Oh yeah, they have Fauna Shaman too. Those are some blind names that we could do, though. I don't think we're going to blind name anything. Ah, this hand seems so mediocre. It doesn't do anything. You can start ticking up with a ratchet bomb, but, like, I don't even know what we're naming. And... Scuttlebo beats bribery, yeah. And then phantasmal image like doesn't do anything. This hand. I think I might mulligan this hand. It seems so bad. Oh my god! Of course I mulliganed into a one lander. Fuck. Daubers. All right, we're gonna keep this and send the confiscate back. And the solemn seems like we needed the effigy. Seems loose. Yeah, I have regrets. Shouldn't have mulled. I don't know, that hand, the first hand didn't do anything. It was so reactive. And it wasn't even, like, good reactive cards. Yeah, we got... We got so punished. Holy shit. Land. Thank you. Yeah. Look, if we draw another land next turn, we're actually in fine shape. We get to stab one their next thing and then, like, solemn to get another land. It's potentially dungeon guys tap one of their things. Yeah, we can we can stab wound that that utopia tree. Got him, baby. Yeah, that's true, gatekeeper. I agree. Yeah, we stabbed it good. We didn't stab it, yo. We took an axe. <laughs> Just knocked it over. We really need to hit a land next turn, though. Please, please. It's probably just maple syrup coming out of the tree. You can see it if you look closely at the picture. <laughs> Time twister, but my immersion! Oh my lord. I have to play this to make sure we hit land drops. Corset cube. What sorcery is this? Yo, Archie! Thank you so much for the nine months. This this cube is really fun, Archie. I very much recommend it. Welcome back with a nine. Stream, baby. Sure. Yes, we need the tree's blood for our pancakes. For Saturday morning pancakes. God, they're gonna play they're gonna play a banger here, aren't they? Yup. Yeah. They are very close to activating it, actually. Black, green, blue birds. And they can get the last land right now. Yep. The people also voted for land or else plus Utopia Street instead of birds in the 8th edition. That is weird. Okay, I mean, we... I I don't even know what we can do. Like, we hit the land. But now they can just start activating it. Maybe it's just, like, dungeon guys and try to start attacking them? I don't even know. 
Geist the Burb. I guess Geisting the Burb does prevent them from activating the Golos, but then we have to deal with the Golos on the, in the Dwinin, right? Which is as big, if not worse, of a problem. This is seven mana to activate, right? Uh, um, Wooberg plus two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they surely have a land next turn. Dwinin has reach anyways. Well, maybe what that means is that we just tap the Dwinin. Yeah. Let me start here. Um... What are you doing, Squirrel? What what are you doing? I feel like I need every card here, including the land. I think maybe we just discard the Dissipate. We're kind of on tap out mode. And I feel like... We're going to try to... See if we can get to confiscate their Golos or something. By looting into it. And Solemn can block and chump. For a turn, get more lands going too. Get another black source. Yes, get out, scroll. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, call down. You're a horrible person for other reasons, baby. <laughs> Dark Steel Ingot is acceptable. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, they're gonna get a Trisk. Or Fimage. Trisk seem like a better get, is my guess. We're so dubs. Yep, the good news is we get to draft again soon. We are extremely dead. I want to keep battling it out because this is the last game. So we should do our best effort. Ah, uh, there we go. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're ready to confiscate. So if we're able to confiscate the Golos, then maybe we're still in this. But we are in a really, really tough spot. We should try for a Goggles deck next. That deck was cool. I really want to try to go for the Demonic Pact... Uh don't kill yourself plan. That's that's a really cool plan, but I'm not sure how feasible it is. All right, are they activating Golos? Here we go, baby. I'm gonna concede. <laughs> Womp. This deck was cool. It was missing a lot of like... It was missing a lot of important stuff to like interact in the long game because it was a mill deck, you know? The Zombify whole reanimation plan really didn't work out for it, unfortunately. Yeah, it was fine. I mean, it was a fun deck. I think, like, it wasn't very good. We were going to run into something like that at some point or another. It's true. They can only Hydra for zero. The problem is they hit the Garak. The Garak means it was Daubers. I think if this had um, just some earlier plays, like earlier card selection and... Not these like random Triskelion Soul Blade Gens of the world, and then maybe like also the Sphinx's Tutelage. This would have been a much better deck. Um, let me wrap up this video. I'm gonna put it on the YouTube's anyway. I think it was a cool deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another course at Cube Draft. Um, if you would like to see others, they are on youtubecom Sparts. And if you would like to support this channel directly, you can also use the code Gabby when shopping on ChannelFarball.com. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.